In a small hut near a forest lives a grandfather with his little granddaughter. He often puts the white plate on her head, not by chance. This little girl, grandfather, and the others call her white hat. This little girl is very smart and writes in a diary about all the events of her life, about meetings with friends, close friends, birds, other forest animals. Among other things, she has a burning desire to meet and see you because of the red hat. Her grandfather left and my daughter told him, she doesn't really live. She is just a pearl for children. Well, the little girl persistently said that Little Red Riding Hood lives with her grandmother somewhere in the forest, since the good hunter had killed the wolf. One day, sneaking up on her grandfather, she hit a towards the forest, because something was calling her. In front of her appeared a dog that resembled a wolf. He took a few steps back. The dog wagged its tail a little and began to spin around her. At that moment, a man's voice was heard from nearby, Muro, Muro. The dog barked two or three times, it turned its tail and left. The shepherd was surprised when he saw him and asked where are you from my beautiful girl? I'm a white hat. Oh, white hat, I've heard about you and it's good that he brought you to these parts. If I tell you the truth, no one will believe my am looking for the red hat, as I believe she lives somewhere nearby in the forest with her grandmother. He is looking for a red hat though do you know that she lives here first, it surprises me. Uncle Shepherd, I wear the red hat because every night I see her in my dreams, as if she is calling me, so I went out to meet her. The old shepherd looked in the direction of a nearby hut and pointed that hut belongs to the red hat and the grandmother. I also live near them. White Hat, overwhelmed with joy, hugged the old shepherd and they left for the hut. When they got there, they met the red hat and the grandmother who were returning from the forest loaded with baskets. As soon as the white hat saw him, he jumped into the embrace of the red hat. After they were announced, the grandmother invited them to enter the hut, where she treated them with a summer apple pie. The white hat played with the red hat all day in the forest and in the evening returned to her hut. She wrote this incident in her diary not only that he had forgotten to ask his grandmother if they were really the grandmother and the red hat of the fairy tale,